Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we'll be making a cardboard chassis, which is something I've done before but what's different in this one is that it has a steering system and a pushrod suspension. Now we're gonna start by making the rear side first because it's much easier to make. What we have here is an A arm and what's going to happen is that these pins are going to sit in these marked regions right here. I made these pins out of handlebars from Q-tips. Now we're gonna fill these gaps up with something like scrap pieces of cardboard and it really doesn't matter how you fill it up. What really matters is that these pins sit exactly where they're supposed to. Next we'll glue on the other side and immediately you will see that the ends are left open. So now what you're going to do is glue on some more pieces so that the pins can stay in their slots. Now all the pieces will be made with exactly the same style so I won't be showing you how I make all of them. I will however show you the internal structures of some of the pieces because they seem a little different such as this one. I'll leave basic templates for all the pieces in the description below. Once you have all the pieces you can start assembling them and I'll just fast forward through this one. Now keep in mind that some of these pins are a little longer than they need to be and I'll show you later on how to seal them but you only need to do that near the end when you're sure of everything. Now keep in mind that you have to make two of these, one for the right hand side and one for the left hand side. Next we make pieces for the front structure and I've kept the pieces of the rear structure right there in the middle so that we can compare them. Now see how they're quite similar. The differences start at this point. This piece has a hole in the middle but this one does not. And onto that we'll glue on these two pieces of plastic. I made these by finding some scrap pieces of plastic and bending them into shape and then I made the holes in them using a solder gun. After that we have this L-shaped piece and I haven't glued it completely because I wanted to show you its internal structure. Now the pins have been glued in completely because they're not supposed to move. All these extra pieces that you see are going to give us our steering functionality. Now when you're assembling it, you're going to take this piece and you're going to put this L-shaped piece inside of it. After that the rest of the assembly should be quite similar so I'm going to skip over it and show you what it's supposed to look like. So let's move back to the rear end. We have the right and the left hand side structures and we need a way to hold them together. To do that I'm going to cut out some squares and glue them into a stack and then glue that in between. Pretty basic stuff. So next we're going to need a structure that's sort of going to handle the entire pushrod suspension and this is what I have in mind. To make it you'll need two such pieces each of which starts off as something like a house shape and whose insides would look like so. You then have to glue the pins thoroughly into their slots and then glue the back on. You then have to join the two with a significant gap in between them and for that I use some scrap pieces of plastic and I reinforce it with some insulating tape. Next up you need this triangular looking piece which I've made out of the flattish parts of a plastic bottle. I stacked four layers together and I made the holes using a solder gun and this kind of fused the four layers together so I didn't really have to glue them. You'll need two of each and they slide into place right here. To hold your pieces into place you're going to bring a little heat close to the pins and you're going to let it burn its way down to the bottom at which point you blow it out. It's going to form a little bulge and that's what's going to stop your pieces from sliding out. So that's why a lot of the pins are a little longer than they need to be it's so that you have enough material to burn down. Next up you'll need two syringes and you can already see that you won't need the whole thing. So you can just eyeball how much you will need and then trim it down to that size. So I've trimmed it down and I've also made holes on either ends. Now one more thing to note is that when making the hole at the nozzle, the heat's going to seal it off, effectively turning it into an air spring, which is quite convenient really. But this means you will have to think about your displacement beforehand. Okay, so you place your air spring like so and then you pass a pin through those holes and seal it into place. Now, something I realized much later on during the project is that this air spring was relatively too stiff for the structure and compressing it was 
putting too much strain on the parts. Now you can fix this by either using stronger glues and stronger parts or you can just replace this air spring with one of these normal springs that I made in a previous video. Now what I did was I just broke the seal and what I have now is something that looks like air suspension but what it really does is give me ride height control. Then you glue that entire rig onto the stack of squares like so. Next up we're going to need control arms for the suspension and for that I used the q-tip which I bent into an L shape and then inserted one of these eyes into the longer ends. Now I made these eyes using steel wires which you can find in paper clips or book bindings. Now you line up the control arm like so and pass the pin through the control arm and the eye hole and the other side pretty much acts like a pin already and that will go through the triangular piece. Next up we need wheels and I've shown you how I make them in a previous video. I'll leave a link in the description so you can go watch that. So I'll only go over this one very very briefly. It starts off with a cardboard tube which I slice down depending on how fat I want it to be. Then I glue on a few layers of cardboard and I sand it down to the profile I want. The spokes are just equal parallelograms and the hub is just tape wrapped around the pin. Putting together the front is the same as the back but with this added control arm for the steering, so put that into place. Proceed to assemble the rest of the pieces with the wheels until it looks like this and then flip it upside down. At the center, glue in a pin that extends forwards and secure it. Next, make this straight piece out of plastic the same way you made the triangular piece. Slide it into the pin and seal it. Line up the control arms with the other hole, pass a pin through that and seal that as well. Now all that's left is to join the front to the rear and for that I used another syringe because it's going to let me adjust the length of the wheelbase. So that's the end of this project, thumbs up if you liked it, leave me some comments down below if you want to and you'll probably hear from me again next summer, probably. So if you're a subscriber and you decide to stick around, I'd like to thank you well in advance for your patience and support. I would hope you hear from me sooner than later. Until next time everyone, see you soon.